Welcome back to Death Mark 2! Ah! Two! Ah! <laughs> That's a number uh. above one! All right, let's continue our investigation. Let's head to the student council room. We got a couple of new leads now. We do, yes. We do indeed. Hey. Oh, have I learned some things. All right, so we got two new topics. We got the delinquent girl and the creepy Petri dish. <laughs> Start with the delinquent girl. Hey. What can you tell me about this? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Doryu. We're talking about the delinquent girl, though. Saki Maruhashi. 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 Some things, you say? Well, be your friend and she won't be such a bitch. <laughs> All kinds of rumors surrounding her. Oh no, going out at night. Okay, the drinking and smoking is not good. The biker gang. Well, I mean, what kind of biker gang? Ding ding. <laughs> the newspaper delivery conglomerate. <laughs> ding 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 ding. They're the toughest gang this side of Okinawa. <laughs> you, you see, you see a bunch of thugs going. It's like, oh my god. We got like, you know, the, the kids' helmet song with like. <laughs> Hello Kitty and other Sanrio characters. Bro, they're protected from knee to, to shoulder. What do we do? <laughs> Here's your money for the month. Uh, uh, here you go. Now give us your knives. Okay. It's okay. Here, here. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so I show the girl who doesn't like bugs so much the thing about bugs, and she's like, I don't know anything about that. Can, Can you, you please keep it away from me? <laughs> So, so it makes sense that she would know about the students, but nothing about the bugs. Why don't we ask Michiho, who I bet would know nothing about the student, but nothing about the petri dish. Plenty about the bugs, yeah. Oh, ho, ho, ho. And, you know, you, you get, you, they start crawling out of your open wounds in a delusional set, uh, ah. a delusional uh, think piece set by an angry spirit. You know, real bugs don't really scare you that much. You know, I was thinking... If you did become desensitized to this, would that make the spirits less scary or just the circumstances surrounding them less scary? Because, uh, like, he just mentioned that these two right here have become desensitized to, like, the freaky bug in the Petri dish. Would it make it less scary? Sure. Would it make it less dangerous? No. Absolutely not. So I think that's what you need to be careful about. It's like, oh, this ain't nothing, and then your entire arm gets, dis gets disintegrated. Or, you know, scissors going Oops. through it. And... Hey, I'll see you later. Hang on, I need to talk to you about something. <laughs> clong, 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 clong. I gotta talk. <laughs> what? <laughs> Thank you for that. Girl, is that your pickup line? All right, wait, all right, you know nothing about the, about the girl, right? Okay. Mm. Yeah. Jury's still out on that one. How about this? Yeah, oh, could... cool! That's a... You're gonna tell you the exact scientific name for this thing. A Chinese... Colopendros of Wait, that. aren't those venomous? Probably. Hundred foot. There aren't many centipedes that actually have a hundred feet. What's a f what, the, what, the, what are we even doing? Maybe that's the genus and/or phylum to put them under. All right. It really bugs me. No. Oh. I've had enough of this. <laughs> Why don't you buzz off? <laughs> and that's my two cent. How about you set the insect aside? Uh, oh my god, that was extremely good. Thank you, thank you. Okay, that's fine. At least you know what, like, the, the uh, type is. Yeah. It's All right, how about, how, how about Kakta? It's a poison type Pokemon. Finally. So he's not really doing much to beat these suspicions, you know? Mm-hmm. You know, what with uh, asking about this random girl and uh, showing this random bug to people. It's like, hey, do you know anything about this girl? Do you know anything about this bug? He might actually know something. 
him being part of the disciplinary committee. Things I've been connecting corridor. Keeps going there even though I've wandered so many times. Hmm. You know, most people who say I hate delinquents turn out to be delinquents mm -hmm. themselves. No fighting! Don't fight, it's bad! I'm a teacher, listen to me! <laughs> I'm just kidding. Well, then what's the point of the punching and the kicking, then? Stupid kid, you don't know shit. Anyway, well, anyway look at this. I would never hurt women, I just punch bitches. What?! <laughs> 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 You want to taste it? Here, lick it, lick it. <laughs> hey, is this a venomous one? Taste it and find out. Oh, he hates bugs. Oh, he hates bugs. Does he hate bugs or does it remind him of something? Mm. Oh, those. You know, you, you know them as mushrooms, do you? That's interesting. You know. I don't know, maybe it was an offering. It's like, take this disgusting bug I found in my backyard one morning, please. But that sucker's huge. There's no way you're finding that in your backyard. I know, the spirits all love it because it's so big. Mm. One of those... There's a species of spider that is, like, harmless, but it's just gigantic. Not like a tarantula. Is common in Australia. They're just fucking big, and I hate it. I hate that our planet has these things. See, I don't mind spiders so much. I just, I just need a limit. Right. Because like, more than five, I'm like, all right, we, we we got a problem. We got to talk. Like even more than one, I'm like, okay, I'm not, I'm, I'm not so sure. All right. So he said something weird about the centipede. About the mushrooms. Oh, that. Too. You look at that thing. You don't, you don't think mushrooms. Like, what's that weird red stuff? Is it like Twizzlers? Hmm. He knew they were mushrooms right off the bat. Something he knows we need to know too. No way this big prefect karate doofus guy realizes that those are cordyceps. Unless he's possessed or by he's cordyceps. Or he's seen them before. Oh, that too. Excuse me, Kakata, are you part parasect? I think she'd be part of Mungus. <laughs> nah, probably Vespa Queen. Oh, there we go. Did you see, you see him go by here? Stop. Cabbage work. You need to cease. Anyway, I think Kakuta's an ant. I need to talk to him. Oh, the karate man, yeah. He bumped right into me. Oh. For running into somebody in the hallway? They didn't even apologize. That's very oh, rude. You're not right. you're not rude, especially if you're. A, I mean, is he? No, he's like a. He's a second year, right? Something like that, yeah. Probably. He went to the science room. So remember, the room to the right. First floor music. Second floor art. Third floor science. Okay. First floor music. Second floor art. Oh, we're floor gonna be science. getting into some weird science here. Cocktail. This, this is just a science room. It's fine. What's going on, man? Okay, but hey, buddy, you got you all right, man? What's going on? Ooh, you, look, you looking for something? What you? Is what do you see, dude? Is he looking for cordyceps? Are you sure? Somebody comes into the storage room like this to. Yeah, just, yeah, yeah, yeah. What happened, huh? Yes. Are you sure? Hmm. Well, if someone was in here, why did you unlock the storage room door? No one would have been in there then. Duh. Come on, man. You're in here now. Or kept the door closed. You're a liar. Mm -hmm. You're a liar. 
Flying! Hey, hey uh, <laughs> your darting eyes are telling me everything. Liar. Liar! Dire. Hold on, let's press him for details. What do you know? Alright, what do you know about the, sus the suspicious person? You liar. <laughs> liar. Liar. A delinquent liar. boy with brown hair. Oh, wow, you have brown hair. Face. No, no, I meant, I meant, he had hands! You have hands too. Oh, what's up? Uh, uh, you're a karate man! You should know what to do! Alright, all right, what about the science room? Why in here? That means you didn't take anything, you're just looking for something. Or you did take something, and you... I can read you like an open book. You're so easy to read. See, it's kids like this that are the easiest to friggin' read. How about the storage room key? How'd you get the key, buddy? Well, he's part of the he's part of the committee. Actually, so that makes alive. sense. Yeah, he's alive. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so only you could go into the. God. You oh, man. would be the first to die in a Danganronpa game, dude. Oh, oh, geez. As the victim or as the murderer? Yes. Uh, both? Sure. Uh, he might be able to put up a fight. Never Maybe mind. Tries to kill the main protagonist, but then, like, slips on a... Banana peel. Banana <laughs> <laughs> peel! Delinquent and the key. Because how could a delinquent have a key? You liar. <laughs> You liar. Dun, 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 dun. Such a liar. Lying all the time, you delinquent liar! If you actually listen closely, you can hear the music uh, say every now and again, liar. If you look at his pantaloons, you would realize that there is a high temperature emitting from them, almost as if they are on fire. <laughs> Caught him pants handed. What? No! No! <laughs> Your pants are on fire on my hands? Like his jeans, like his hands are just jeans at the wrist. <laughs> just, no! <laughs> How did you know? Yep. It's obvious. I mean, come on. You seem to be our delinquent, sir. See, this is a case one Phoenix Wright liar. He, he's the one that did it, okay? Y yeah. The centipede knows what you did! <laughs> it knows your guilt! Look at this liar, centipede. I know he's a big liar! <laughs> <laughs> oh! I feed on your untruths. Uh. What? Who told you? Is that... Uh-oh. No. You're gonna you stay... Have to... uh... uh... I beg your pardon? <laughs> yeah. Mortal Kombat! <laughs> Finish him! <laughs> Well, that's not good. Um, uh, should we, like, maybe... Yes. <laughs> yeah, this ain't gonna go well if we don't catch him. So he was delinquent? Well, look at him! He broke into the science storage room I looking know, for something. He's obviously he... up to some bad yeah, stuff. Maybe he was looking for something. I don't know. No! You asthmatic freak, God! <laughs> well, I mean, he's like 6'5", in the peak of his condition. Exactly, like 16 yeah. 16 years old. And we're just old. 
And and between the two of us, we smoke pack a day, so. <laughs> oh, MK, MK, my killer? I don't know. My Corona. Well, he's off to go die. I guess we should figure out what's in here. Yeah, see what he was trying to get into. I certainly feel like I'm prey stuck in a spider's web. Hero <laughs> says, I was in a spider's web. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I d just like that. Right. It's no, 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 no. All right, well, we can't get discouraged. If we get discouraged, we won't save anybody. We've got a better chance if we start doing stuff now. Research! Yep, so I guess it's, it's here where the investigation truly begins, because we have a true lead that we're following. Yeah, let's figure out why he broke into this place. And you know that, because we're beginning Ooh. the collection of the lost souls. Bear! It looks nice, I mean... Class Pet 1985, hey, wait a minute. Uh, uh, huh? Too... <laughs> oh, no! I was just thinking that. Bite down, please. Is this why you brought her along? <laughs> That's awesome. Give me your slender woman hands. My hands are bigger than yours. It's shh, 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 just shut the fuck up. Just please get the tooth. You're gonna pull out a uh, uh, a chiclet. Yeah, that's it. Mm -hmm. Chiclet. This would be the worst time, but the funniest time to just go up behind her and go. Ah! <laughs> Not phased. Not phased. Yay! All right, wash uh, your hands. I have Lysol. Not a tooth. All right. What was he looking into? Mm -hmm. My Immortal by... Hey, wait a minute! <laughs> oh, that takes me back. One from 11 years ago and another from 9, okay. Alright, what do we got here? Fox Forest behind the school seems to have a special environment. A variety of plants in the area can be seen here. Let's catalog all of them. Okay, so there's a big old forest behind the, behind the, the yep. school. What is it? Spooky forests never mean anything that bad's good. It, it, it'll be fine, it'll be fine, it'll be fine, it'll be that fine. That sounds fun. We played through one of these games and went to a forest-type area. Everything was fine, right? Yeah, everything was fine. Fox Azalea and Foxtail Fern. Is that what he was looking for? Why? Skin to the end of... Okay. Fox. Of course, it's always the case. Would it be Fox Cordyceps? I mean, see, maybe there are mushrooms that grow on those plants. I mean, <laughs> well, it's a good thing he went, ran out of here, and fucking died. I mean, what? We can still save him. We just got, we just gotta go find him. If we understand his motives, maybe we can find something. Find him. Yeah, we, 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 we gotta go, like, get him back. Was there anything else he was looking into? Like, is there anything on the shelf? That's about it. Okay. All right. We can find something about the mushrooms at a, at a place that has more books in it. Any ideas? A uh, library. Hey, that's an idea. Let's go. Let's go there. Go. Oh. Hello. Oh, hi. Can you just pull your sleeve up, please? <laughs> Looks like Abe is in the library. Okay. It's a widow too big on me, Dabawina. Here, just, it just... <clears throat> Ow! Alright, bye. Good to see you. 
I can't wait for an alternate sprite of her to show up where she does pull the sleeve down and she just has a cursed right hand. It wasn't the hair. It was never the hair. Hey, yo, Abe. Where you at? Hello, it's me, Haraki Abe. Welcome to the Garden of Knowledge, Mr. Ding. Dobelina. <laughs> Seeing that you're here, that must mean you're in need of assistance from the sage, a.k.a. me. <laughs> you're the one who called me here. <laughs> you're just like the number zero. Empty but filled with infinite possibilities. My left eye said you wanted wisdom. Oh, Hence why you told me where I was in advance. Did somebody shut the music up? Shut this kid up! <laughs> I'm gonna choke him, I'm gonna choke him. <laughs> Dabalina, be quiet, and he keeps talking here. He's just like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna beat the crap, I'm gonna beat the shit. crap. I'm mean, crap since day one. He has not given me the proper respect I am given the right to as a teacher. Hey, hey, Abe, which eye is your real eye? Oh, my right one. <laughs> not anymore. I got his left one. <laughs> All right, what you got, man? All right, let's give, let's give him a chat. Uh, you're, you're, you're in a good mood. Why are you so happy, <laughs> laughing boy? <laughs> uh, yeah. I'll be meeting my mentor for the first time in a while today. Uh, okay, you're meeting your teacher. That's cool. My Oshi, if you will. Great master taught me the truth of the world. Mm -hmm. So you got red pilled? That's what my right eye represents. I also took the blue pill at the same time. So you're a centrist. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, what All right. topics do you got? Hold on. What? We must complete his trial. We need to be worthy. I know, you think we gotta go find something and then craft whatever. That's what I always think when they think of trial, but what they really mean is just a suspensive act. Oh. Yeah, we could do that. Be at your spiritual state of power. Show me everything. Punch me in the face. Okay. Right. You're the boss. All right, let's take the trial. I have three talismans with me. Take them and get a good look. Each talisman has a symbol on it. Triangle, square, or star. I'm going to envision one symbol in my head. Oh, good lord. I'm sure you already know what you should do, right? You merely need to read my mind with your supernatural powers. <laughs> All right, James Randy. <laughs> Did you hit your head or something? I mean, come on, man. I think my favorite thing... Is this one of those whatever you choose is the correct answer, just for the sake of... No, there's still a, cor a correct answer that needs to be, you know, shown. Interesting. Otherwise, he's going to think that we're a fry, we're a phony, because we're not uh, feeding into his his chuny bio uh, delusions. Selected a symbol. Now demonstrate your powers to me. Show that you are worthy of your power! Bro, I don't think you should be saying that in the middle of the school day, man. That's Saymon. Saymon. Oh, okay. Okay, suspenseful act. Suspensive, right. excuse me. What do you what, what do we got? Wait, do we get hurt for this? <laughs> He's gonna punch us in the face. <laughs> exactly. Saymon is what they call a pentagram and, div and divination, which is what would be as a uh, star. You, you might, might be trying, trying to throw me off. The correct answer could be either a triangle or a square. Correct answer though? Do I, do I need to give a correct answer though? Uh, yes. I mean, I'm a student. I'm older than him. I have actual spiritual powers. Student or teacher? I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm he's a student. I'm a teacher. I mean. There we go. Uh, team up with hero. Team up with hero. Cool. Uh, <laughs> creepy petri dish. I know that's not what we need to do. Unless you're right. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, we, we get hurt with every choice we use. I know, I know. It's just still funny to think. But, fuck your trial! Uh, yeah. Look at this thing! <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome! A 99% success rate. I'm pretty sure I'm as terrified of bugs, Hero. Check it out! 
Yo, check this shit out. <laughs> I love how she's playing along. You better show your friend what you got in this Petri dish. <laughs> Centipede. <laughs> Get it away from me, please. You're gonna give me your info or what then? Stupid trial's dumb! I don't have time for this! You underhanded scoundrels! Uh, yeah, really? Yeah! <laughs> hell yeah! Do you forget where you stand, boy?! Away with your chuny shit. Come on, just give me my stuff. You don't get me in rank, you don't get me in skill, you don't get me in power, you don't get me in age, you don't even get me in bank accounts! I love that we survived that. <laughs> The only thing you beat me in is, 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 is penmanship. That's, that's very good. It's very good. It's very good. I, like, I like the strokes. Very well done. At least I still have heterochromia. And his contact lens falls out. Wait. No. And then, and then the second one falls out. D no. What? What? Look, I just wanted brown and blue. Is that too Instead hard of blue and brown. That's <laughs> wrong. Don't you see? It's not what the spirits demand. <laughs> All right. Start talking. Every time he goes off topic, Hero just goes, <laughs> The centipede. Oh. So we gotta go to the Fox Forest. Yay. Oh boy. Yay. That was where that uh, statue was from yeah. the last chapter. Right? No, that, that's the courtyard. Oh, that was just the courtyard? It's, 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 it's in the school still. Oh, okay. It, it was a fox shrine. Gotcha. All right, here's the rumors of uh, Mr. Kokuri. This is a well-known rumor that spread around ten years ago. There's an old shrine gate in the north corner of the, of the school grounds. Beyond the gate lies a path leading to the forest. It's said he appears there at night. Ooh. A man clad in white garb and a fox mask. He is Mr. Kokuri. He was dubbed Kokuri because of the mask. As I'm sure you know, the ritual used to speak with the dead, Kokuri, summons a part fox spirit. I believe he was given the name by someone who knew he was a fox spirit. Snitch! It said Mr. Kokuri used to be a priest of the Shrine of the Forest. Okay. In his past life, he patrolled the path and performed ritual cleansings to keep the shrine free of negative energy. He continues to this routine even after death. People never forgive anyone who disgraces the shrine. Should he find one... <laughs> well... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just get shot? He will shoot that scoundrel right in the head! Oh. That is the Mr. Kokuri I know. So it's just an old guy with a gun? I mean, you know, don't mess the shrine. Spirit old man with a gun. Get off my property, you dang kids. Kablam! There You're, they go. You ever seen Midsummer? I haven't. Oh, it's, a, it's another great, great horror film. It, it, it starts out, but with these people visiting this, uh, yeah, I guess it's a Swedish cult kind of place. Mm -hmm. Not like a death cult, just like you know, just, just a weird cult. You know, they're 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 they're, they're tourists, of course, and you know they're, they're they're guests. They have rules to follow and all that, and their rituals are indeed strange and grotesque and unusual. But they seem like well-meaning people for the most part. And uh, one of the things that they have, that they have is this uh, very old tree. It's it's, uh, it's it's a withered dead tree, but it's been in, in their grounds for like you know a long, long time. One of the guys pees on it, and so the third act begins. So most likely, yeah, we don't know. Can't say either way. So possibly the same spirit is haunting two shrines. Can he go in between the two? Maybe they're people that go into the fox forest, get haunted by Mr. Kokuri, and then take that curse back to the school where they're in the shrine that's also connected with them. That think? would be interesting. Like a growth, like an infection, like... Like a spore, like, like a, a fungus! Ah! That's actually cool. I like. I did like the little details with that last CG. There were mushrooms everywhere. Mm -hmm. Yep. Kukuri oh, yeah, Shrine. Oh, that's... I guess that's a connection right there. Oh. Well, that just seems too on the nose. So if I open up a restaurant and call it uh, Mick Kokuri, he's gonna show up. 
and shoot people that uh, don't throw the trash in the trash can. <laughs> Comes out of the third bathroom. Corosaro! <laughs> Wait, no, no! <laughs> I'm sorry. No free refills. <laughs> <laughs> Hooligan! All right, how about the hooligan? You look like you don't have friends, so you probably don't know anybody. <laughs> Yeah, I figured. I can actually see Dumbledina say that! You don't look like a guy who has a lot of friends. I stand alone in my, uh, uh yeah, that's pursuit cool. that's cool, the truth loser. of the occult knowledge of this world. <laughs> <laughs> my left eye is unable to see people unworthy- Yeah, yeah, okay, you're fucking- Well, look at this, look at this again! <laughs> <laughs> my left eye doesn't look at bottom feeders, I guess. Well, I guess he needs the both contacts, otherwise he has no eyes. Ah! <laughs> Calm down, son. It's just a petri dish. Yeah, the bug's not even in there anymore. It's just a petri dish. Okay, we got some decent information. Not bad. We have another place to go. Oh! Mushy mushy. Hey, hero, it's me, Dabalina. Can you come to the connecting corridor? I'm right here. Shit. Boop. Hang up! <laughs> hey! Okay. Well, it's, yeah. Fair and valid. So here is a... Here's a, a, a lost soul that a lot of people miss. Before we head back to the infirmary to take care of you. Know, he'll, he'll, he'll be fine. He could deal with uh, handling some kids for a while. Is this? It'd, it'd, it'd do well for his demeanor towards civvies. Is it a point of no return, or...? Not really a point of no return, just that th this is when it opens up, and it's kind of out of the way of everything else. Easier to get it now than so later. So, get it now, and it's it's funnier to think about Mashta just, you know, dealing with this kid for an extra ten minutes. Uh... So. so, we're going to the connecting corridor here, on the second floor. Take a look at that shrine one more time. Yeah. Yoshi. Still there. Look at all those seals. They definitely want to keep something in there. Yeah, there's really, I love any of those. See, there's, there's really nothing else inside. Except, huh, hold on. <laughs> there love, is something in the court. I love it. <laughs> it's a tooth. Was it the uh, third one? It's the second one. Second one. We have a leftover from last. Uh, right, 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 right. We have nothing to trade for yet, except for the the bag. But we can hold off on that yeah. for a while. We'll All right, do it later. Now we can go back to the infirmary. Where are those assholes? I don't want to talk to a teenager. Dear God, I don't want to talk to a teenager. We got some lunch on the way over. I was going to get you something, but I ate it on the way over here. It's been three hours. Where have you been? Then we got dinner, too. It, uh, Again, I ate that, too. I'm, you, I'm hungry. Did you bring me a happy meal? I think what you need is some caffeine pills. Did you, huh? I mean, you're constantly scowling at her. I wouldn't speak to you either. It's like, hey, brat, fucking talk to me. Tell me what you know. Do it! Hey, can I call you gal? What's going on? All right, well, let's, uh, let's, let's have a talk. Don't believe in talking to a girl? Compose yourself, man. Don't be condescending. <sighs> Don't be condescending. Hello there, young lady. My name is Bob Dabalina. I want to beat the shit out of out of you <laughs> and this ass. <laughs> Does your mother know you're here? <laughs> Ma! <laughs> what? What? What are they selling? You've gotten to some big girl trouble right <laughs> here, that's for sure. You attack with the baton. And then she does it again, apparently. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. I mean, we can't hold her here, I suppose, so... Yeah. 
Wait, if you leave, so, you'll die. Okay. Oh. oh. Who could it be? Headmaster. <gasps> Who the heck are you? It's Toaku Yasuoka. She's another Mark Bear from the first game. I don't recognize you. Sure you do. Do I? Yeah. Okay, what's up? Why don't I remember you? It's been a long time since we did the first game. Well, see, I remember every other Mark Bear, but why does she look so different? Because she got more beautiful. What was the case she was in? One of the ones from the first one, obviously. Well, okay. So now that we've sent Moe on her way, because this is too dangerous, you know, she's just an a, a cult journalist, high school student, whatever. Now we've got Toaku Yasuoka. I see. She's going to be handling our lost souls now, and we're going to be like, no, 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 don't, don't, don't do it. But she's like, oh, don't, pish posh, darling. I'm going to be here for the rest of time. <laughs> you know, I'm... I am kind of glad they're cycling out the students for the adult characters. Right, yeah, yeah. The ones who, like, they know how to handle these stakes. Because it gets real, like, halfway through the game. Yeah. And he says, okay, you guys need to get away. And then the adults go, nah, f fucking, you know, shut up, Dublin, I'll kick your ass. You know, I'm, 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 I'm being a part of this. If I die, I will be the hottest ghost the underworld has ever seen. It would be irresponsible if it was the other way around. That's you know, true. He tells the adults, you guys need to need to back off. And then the kids, oh, sure, come on, it'll be fun. It's actually more realistic this way. That's the difference between a shonen anime and a show no and a... Seinen? A shonen and a seinen anime. There you go. That's it. But it's shoujo. It's like, wait, no. <laughs> Who's shoujo? He'd like transform into like, you know, a super hot Yeah, exactly. And magical boy or whatever. Whoa, legendary <laughs> celebrities here. Okay, we might be able to get some answers. Well, all right, yeah. I mean, it's like the Japanese equivalent of Miss Cleo walking into the... Okay, that's pretty rad. In the late 90s, no less. That's pretty rad, actually. Oh, buttering her up. Tee <laughs> I do like that hair. It's like... Eh. It's like cream colored. The most attractive form of beige... Beige. It's like you really put that that soft G on the beige. It's like beige on air on the juge. It's like your mouth is filling up with sand. Beige. <laughs> All right, what do you want to know? All right, finally, can we get to some uh, to some information? All right, how about Maruhashi? How about how about yourself? Tell me about you and why you try to hit me with a fucking baton with uh, mushrooms going out your neck. Okay. Pretty normal. No. Oh, well, makes sense. Oh. Uh, could be a. Okay. Think you want to be like a body shop worker when you grow up? Yeah, yeah. That'd be, that'd be cool. Davalina can set you up. Yeah, you get into, you know, uh. You know, body works and all that. Mm hmm. Oh my god. You mean she's just like a normal student, just soft-spoken? <laughs> Tell me that having no friends makes you a delinquent. What? Being ostracized from society makes you act out what? with aggressive actions? I don't understand this game. What? How is horror supposed to be empathetic? I don't understand. What? Okay, I can't go any higher. <laughs> How about Mr. Kokuri? You added some extra beige in that one. <laughs> Kokuri. Yeah, can I get a Mr. Kokuri extra beige, please? <laughs> you want fries at that? Kokuri. What? Are you for real? Ooh, I wonder if she'll let it slip why she was up there in the first place. Uh, just, just to show you, like having a sixteenth of an ounce of caution in horror things can be the difference between life and death. Indeed. Ooh, she knows about it, too. Uh-huh. So, okay, so the shrine is just like, you know... In in-between, maybe? It, it, it's the electric fence, essentially. You know, just, ooh! Oh, mm, mm. Okay, okay. Don't touch. Yeah, don't go to the Fox Forest, otherwise... The Fox Forest is the power plant itself. 
That's what it sounds like to me. I don't want to go into a mushroom forest, man. We're going to go into a mushroom. N not this time, but next time we're going to go There's into gonna a mushroom There's going to be forest. like cordyceps and shit. There's going to be people possessed by mushrooms. <laughs> There's going to be mushroom men <laughs> and mushroom women. You don't even know what's going to be there, man. You don't even know what we're getting into. Well, obviously I don't know. I mean, a forest is what we're getting into. <laughs> Wait. Hold on. Yeah, I know, right? I yeah. didn't know that was part of the play. Okay, why did you attack us? Because I hate your dumb face. <laughs> It pisses me off. There's a blank spot in my memory or some shit. <laughs> this dialogue, man. I'm loving it. Yeah. Hmm. I remember going to the corridor after school. I know that place is, like, off limits, but I like hanging out there, you know? It's up to on the one feels really nice. I can understand that. I was just spacing out looking at... I was spacing out but looking at the sky. It's like party on shit, like fuck. Then I got the strange feeling. I got ghost bumps. I started freaking up. Ooh. <laughs> and it all came from that shrine. So I approached Ooh. it. And I opened the door. And I licked it. I <laughs> thought it was just a horrible prank. So I went to grab it. Oh, why would you? And then I saw your stupid face, and I was like, Oh, die! I wanna hurt you! So, it looks like, uh, this is the way to get possessed by spirits, and I think we're about to do that when... It, 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 this, this is dangerous. Abelita's holding it as she's explaining it. Throws a smack against the wall. No! Oh. Why did you do that? Oops. But it's dangerous! Oh wait, that's detail. Concentrated into my skull. I think she's gonna be okay. Yeah. I, I, I think we've uh, scared her out of this, you know. Uh, Kakuta, on the other hand, he guilty. I think he went right into Fox Forest. Fuck. That's that's my theory. No. Because no one else in the school has seen him. He's he's gone now. So he, he he had to run somewhere, and the Fox Forest seems like it's the epicenter of all this creepy bullshit. That's actually not a bad, like, misdirection. She just got caught in the crossfire. Yeah. It's, it's all for a reason, because spooky shit's happening! No. She is a delinquent, she is not the delinquent. That's what happens when the part doesn't specify. I fucking hate that she doesn't specify. Yeah, it's just a punch. It's like, you know, hey, fuck you looking at? I'll beat you up. Chose to drive her mad, in my opinion. I'm doubtful that she's your hooligan. Correct! Yeah, yeah, that was just a spirit giving her a noogie, essentially. <laughs> it's like, don't get into the shrine again! Ow, 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry! And what a way to say, stay away from my shrine! Than to have mushrooms grow out of your face and neck. Well, also, she basically became a bodyguard for the shrine. If anybody comes near my shrine, you kill him. Can I put that on my resume? <laughs> Bodyguard for the shrine. Served a, you know, a, a brief stint uh, in security. Mm -hmm. Had mushrooms growing out of my for, neck, but for you a, know. For a very important uh, uh, third-party client. Yeah, say la vie. Okay. I think we got our work cut out for us. Okay. Night has fallen. Night has fallen! And the second half of the case <laughs> has now begun. Cool. Oh yeah, who are you taking? Well, worry about that next time. Right now we're just kind of packing up everything up and we're getting ready to, to, to set on out. Got the sacred objects here, taking Moe's place. I do like that kimono she's wearing. It's very lovely. <laughs> oh yeah, so I'm way more better than all of you. I realize that, that uh, we're also getting interactions with the Mark Bearers after they've gotten their memories back, because I forgot in the first game they lost their memories. I didn't know that. Or I forgot about that. Like like say. like like certain things, like I mean that, that's that's what happened to uh, to uh, to our guy, Dabalina. He lost all his memories. Like, why am I here? What happened? What's his mark? I don't know. But... That's right! 
It was at the beginning of the game, too. Mm -hmm. Oh, jeez. It's amazing what four years can do to your memory. So Yasuoka's on board. Yay! But you're gonna stay here and just be the shopkeep. Uh, be careful. The departed likes to peek through the window. What's our currency? Coins? Jewelry? Statues? Teeth! Oh. I expected as much. Okay. That's fair. <laughs> that smirk is just so funny. Well, okay. They're all friends. They're getting along. That's good. Cool. Meanwhile, we look over at Mush <laughs> Mushta. Well, She's Mushta's like, groping my ass again. Fuck you. Yo, what? What's this? Well, you made a lunch for me? Oh, cool. Oh. A Diet Coke and a loaf of bread. A thermos in there? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hey, wait, wait, wait! You gave me a gun! I... Why'd you give me a gun? What you thinking? You gave me a firearm, you fool. What size did the bullet come out of? No safety! <laughs> well, th okay, this makes sense to have. I know. Because we are going up against a spirit who has a gun. Fuck, you're right. Aw, oh, man. So we might have to trade some fires, some, 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 some gunfire fire here, you know. Trade shots. Bang, bang. Haha, ha, gotcha. Maybe, maybe, maybe like uh, one of those uh, Wild West, you know, draws, you know, but wait, we're in Japan. Draw! Uh, yeah, let's go. Alright, off to the Fox Forest, beyond the Shrine Gate. Okay, okay. Now it's time for things to take a more sinister turn. I love it! <laughs> He's gonna be in pieces. He gonna be mushroom. <laughs> he gonna be risotto. I wouldn't have too much hope for him. Let's just say. No, he ran off. That was like three hours ago. He has to go, or else I'll be killed. That tells me you're going to be killed anyway. Yeah, you're gonna you're be just, killed. It's it's it's. Yeah. Mach Machine gun Kelly. Uh! Call Ata, man, I'm already talking no. to like everybody. He calls me. I never call him. Oh. Well, I guess I could give him a call for something. <sighs> we'll say that for next time though. On the next death mark, we're heading out to Fox Forest and him. <laughs> yes, 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 y